Hello, it is me, Kaya. I'm bringing you a commentary. Very rare for me, but it might be more interesting than just the whole 10 or so minutes of pure art. Uh, this is a doodle that I made for a new friend. Um, I wanted to see his so in a in his gym outfit, and I was like, yeah, let's try break out of our blog. <laughs> Uh, I wanted to do it a full body since the start, but um, the art block wasn't really having it. So I actually had to resort to doing a little like bust doodle, um, like show off that singlet and yeah, just try try get my shapes down while I'm working it out. You can see I do briefly try to work up a block out for a full body. <laughs> but it doesn't go quite well um deciding i just need a bit of a refresher on drawing i was like yeah i'm just gonna art like i'm just gonna line this um bust which i very happily do um yeah i've i've been a little bit out of it uh art fight was quite good but i didn't get to do too much and since then maybe like done a couple sketches for just personal stuff but nothing really finished so I was really pushing myself to try get something a bit more finished so I start trying up on the full body again this time just trying and trying and trying to find a pose that works um, decided I do the kind of half laying down a little too much so I was like yeah you know what I've tried this leaning against the wall pose before uh, was never really fully happy with it so I've decided to give it another go you see I'm kind of going for the hands behind the head but it just doesn't look balanced so I actually just go with the very casual relaxed um, arm down the other one behind the head to kind of match that casual gym outfit so I go in with like a very base um, sketch and then refine the bits and pieces a little bit more over top. Uh, still with that little bust in the corner, which I'll be honest, I may or may not forget. Um, it's cute, but the, the muzzle was just a bit too long for me. Uh, there was just some bits about it where I would rather restart that one. Back to the full body. Uh, I have decided to draw some shoes. Um, they're a big part of the gym outfit and because I don't draw shoes often uh, I was like you know what no we'll give it a proper go like actually get in there not just do the lazy Connie type style like, it's still simple but you know so with this color in here I'm actually kind of doing like a base for the doodle like um, almost like a guide because my intent was to render this later, uh, I was thinking, well, I might as well do like a kind of coloured guide version that I couldn't use. Um, and it was also just the good middle ground to show my progress on the art piece because I like to make sure people know I am <laughs> still working on things because uh, I do feel a little guilty with time, which is especially why I don't do commissions. As a little break, I go back to the bust and decide to start colouring that in. Um, actually, I like how the eyes turned out on this one. They're very simple, but like, I've never really put too much effort into eyes, so I think it's cute. Okay, so you see here, I am actually starting to figure a background. They, <laughs> they need a lot of practice. Um, my backgrounds are something I've never really been into making. So you see I do this like very very chunky blocked out kind of sketch and I actually you can see just on the road there I start kind of putting more detail in which by the way this is base of a race course you can see on my little reference pictures because um, it fits the character and once I get that background in, I find it a bit easier to go over and now refine over this um, doodle. So I'm going in, lining it up, uh, just going straight into the lining. 
um, trying to get the hair to look a bit less one piece, like kind of let those little chunks take over so it looks a bit more natural. And you see I'm constantly checking it on its own without the doodle underneath. I find lining over a coloured doodle kind of warps my perception of the lines. Yeah, I, I was actually quite happy with my progress at this point. Um, like I said, coming out of art block, I was a little worried, especially when uh, line art, uh, in my opinion, it tends to be a bit worse when I do it, just because I don't go with the flow like I should. Um, so going through this, I was actually quite happy with the progress. Oh, this is having so much grief. Oh, no. I don't know why, but I just, at some, somewhere along the line, there were, I, I drew up an inconsistency with the shoes. And I remember just scratching my head over it. Like, I'm sure if you look closely, the laces won't make sense. Like, some of the patterns won't look right but I was just like no nah, no nah. if it looks good it looks good I sorted out what I could <laughs> like I said shoes aren't my strong suit these are like the coolest shoes I've drawn ever so I'm happy with that now for the color the flats um, I do just start off <laughs> is a little process I used to do especially when I was younger on the iPad um, I would just go in and basically outline the whole entire drawing and I would select around on the outside, invert the selection and fill it in. I just double check that there's no spaces. Then I go in very roughly doing the patterns. Uh, you can see I actually try to get like all of the colors down first so I can just color pick from what I've put down already uh, just to keep it consistent and it's just a little easier for me. I really like the flow of this character's markings, like uh, especially from the chest to the shoulders and arms, the, that cream really flows well. I've always been a fan of the little uh, shoulder colour bits, like Kaya has that too. Um, so I had a lot of fun drawing this one. And the colours are just fun. I've, I've always been drawn towards characters that are like very natural colors with that pop like that one vibrant pop like Kaya she's very kind of that grayish brown and white but with like that pop of blue so this pop of green oh I love it I love the green uh, the outfit and the shoes all the colors are based off of the real gym outfit <laughs> okay, I understand that looks silly. <laughs> the shading. Oh my gosh, it gave me so much grief. Like I said, art block. Uh, so I, I blocked it out really roughly on the character at first. And I was actually not sure um, where my light was coming in from. So I decided, you know what, why don't I just refine the background a bit more? figure out where that light's coming from and it'll be so much easier to shade the character themselves. So I very very kind of quickly do this like uh, brick wall mock-up which does eventually turn into the final bit uh, just because I was like you know what I need to give myself a break I'm still practicing I'm just doing a free little doodle um, didn't want to be too harsh on myself you see, I start figuring in when the sun's coming in, how this environment works. Um, kind of giving that, like, just before sunset type vibe, almost. Like, it's getting later in the day. <laughs> I make up my own little logo based of a real racing logo. Um, with the character's name on it. Uh, for these sponsor banners and just some gibberish. I did base this off of a real kind of racing course to give myself that reality grounding because the character is racing themed and I don't go to many racing things. You see, I- okay, now this is the laziest part, I swear. 
I just lasso to the shape of this car and very, very lazily just make something up because I know it's going to be blurred in the final product and like I said, this isn't a commission so I was just like, you know what, I'm okay with this. Happy with the background. I go back into the shading and I actually fix up that uh, block out. Um, you can see I don't have my multiply, multiply layer on yet, just so I can see the colors a bit better. Uh, so this is just like a low opacity kind of orange because I wanted really warm shading, which I kind of messed up because in the background there's a bit of cold, but on the character it's warm. So in the future I'd make sure to keep that consistency. But I just go through, uh, sort it out. Yep, so I'm just going through, uh, doing the shadow on the wall to kind of ground them back a bit more into the background. Uh, there was definitely more little things I could have done, but um, it was just something for fun. So while I could have added a lot more props and maybe something in the foreground, like maybe even the gravel around his shoes i was like oh, it's all right you know how it is i'm just going through like with very very small details now like over top of the drawing like on the character themselves you can see like little fuzzy bits popping up just to kind of keep it nice and interesting i just like the fuzzies they kind of make the uh character pop a bit more add a bit of texture to the clothes very subtle all in all though, I'm actually quite happy with this one. Like, um, if you look through a lot of my art, you won't see too many backgrounds. So I was actually quite happy with how this turned out. But yeah, there it is. Uh, interesting to see how doing a commentary will go. Um, might do more in the future, might not. I kind of suck at speaking. <laughs> But it is fun just looking through my process and it, it does help me become a better artist by kind of pointing out what I'm doing and as I look through I get to see what I could have done better. I honestly highly suggest that even if you're just talking to yourself. But yeah, thank you for watching. I hope to do more commentary soon maybe. Bye!